Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Flick Geeks. I'm your host, Johnny D, and as always from the Here Today Gonna Mob podcast, I think, still, right? Is it... it, it yes? Uh, Carl's Barajas. Now, basically, we've been out for mid... We kind of did like a late summer hiatus. And uh, we're back with a vengeance, basically, and hopefully we're going to have a podcast up pretty soon. But for now, we have, uh, we have a movie review. Let me... Hold on. There we go. Anyways. Pause that horror movie. Yeah. Anyway, right so... Right on the TV. So, uh, we're going to be reviewing uh, two films, but today we're going to be reviewing Magnet Pictures and Draft House Films, The ABCs of Death 2. The sequel. The sequel. It's the sequel from the 2012... Uh, 2012 movie of the basically the same name minus the two 26 directors all different creative fucked up uh, movies little shorts i mean yeah it's an anthology feature of different uh horror films from an international different all around the world. range of directors mm-hmm. and uh this one is no different actually because i mean the first one we love the first one oh, i know yeah. when we first saw the we saw the first one we loved the hell out of yeah, it so we were excited when the second uh, when the when the second one has been announced. Yeah. So, um, so let's let's get started. We got twenty six of these suckers to go, right. but we're not gonna explain all of them because we want you to get we want you people to be surprised. We'll just give you little tidbits and highlights of our personal choice and advice. alphabets. I mean, we're gonna say the alphabet, but we're not gonna say exactly what the number what the uh, what the, the word corresponding is. letter is. Yeah. Because we want you to be surprised. Yeah, like we were with some of these. Exa- exactly. It, it's actually a good guessing game when yeah. you really think about it. Yeah, you could spend, like, try to figure out, like, what the hell is that letter for? Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, sorry, long night. A. A. Enjoyed A. Honestly, A may be one of my personal favorites. A is directed by E.L. Katz, who is, uh, who. Who, who directed uh, one of our one of our well at least one of my favorite movies I of this it. year? I one of our favorite films of 2014 that was Cheap, Cheap Thrills. Um, but uh, yeah, that was really good. I really we really enjoyed the hell out of that that little yeah. Show. It's, has has like ironic ending to it. Oh yeah, I mean okay. So just to let you know, a lot of these go between five minutes to maybe like seven something like that. Yeah, some are short, some are wait a lot longer. But I not felt, too I long. Felt, I felt only like one really felt really long. Which is like the one at the end, but it has such an interesting payoff. So. But we'll get to that yeah. later on in the next <laughs> 25 more to go. <laughs> uh, we got B. B is for... Uh, wait, was for, for how we get... <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, B was, was okay. B was okay. We kind of saw it coming. Yeah. We kind of saw w- what it was going to happen. Right. Uh, but yeah, B was good. B I was definitely good. C? C... B. C was, yeah, like... It was kind of depressing by the end, but, I mean... Because it, 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 kind of, it, it can actually kind of happen. Yeah, it ain't kind of happily half not, yeah. when you really think about it. You know, in the world of zombies and werewolves, and when you do stuff like that, there's some fear on there, but you're like... You really, you, if you live in the world of, of real life, you're like, uh, zombies don't exist, werewolves don't exist. Right. The, the What C happens can happen in real life oh yeah without a doubt that could easily happen and that's where the fear comes in for that one so exactly c C is very interesting and then we also got d d d was fucked up i couldn't take it i was freaked out (laughs) d i i enjoy d um the letter when you get the letter you'll be like oh okay it's a little confusing but visually very interesting oh yeah um, it's one of the, I think, one of the most in- visually interesting uh, choices mm. aesthetically. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is this is good. I would like to see again. Hopefully, the guy who did the uh, D mm-hmm. will return for a, uh, for the next anthology. Well, I mean, all of all of them are different. I mean, yeah. there's not one repeated director right. on any of these ABC the Dead. I would like to see D come back because I would like to see him take another stab at something else and see or, where he would take us. Or at least him do like, uh, you know, like an actual full length movie. Or a full length movie. Like imagine if he does a full length version of, of that. No. Try to explain that. I, I, would, I, would, I would see that. I would ship my, I, I would definitely ship my pants. I, like I said, Don't do like, any drugs, kids. <laughs> do not do any drugs while you watch this Like movie. I told you, if we, if, if, there's been always talk about a Hellraiser remake. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'll get that guy to direct <laughs> the guy who did D. Get him to direct that remake. Yes. I know I'm, I'm against rebooting and remakes, but if you have to, that guy would be awesome. All right. All right. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, That's a lot of props for D. Okay, E. <laughs> e. Let's see. E was for. Let's see. Again, we're not gonna say exactly yeah. what it is. I wrote him down. That one was short, but I mean, I it. it it was good. It was okay. It was okay. I mean, a very good, uh, positive. Uh, it's a good move. It's a good one to watch with your bros. Yep. <laughs> Blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what F, a, F F was that one? I thought was the shortest. F was extremely short, but I mean, it it it, it, it got the job done. It's kind of predictable, though. Yeah. F was okay. So, uh, G. G, 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 what is for G? Oh, huh. That was a, it slightly was just, that, disturbing, yeah. I thought D was disturbing, but G kind of, it's probably number two. G right. is number two, and then number one is D, but G is pretty disturbing in, in many, anyways. Luckily, I never dealt with that situation. I'm sure you've never dealt with that. I, no. I know some of the viewers out there, maybe like 2% of the viewers that see this. Had something had, like had, that happen in their life. Yeah. Yeah, so... Wow. <laughs> and if so, we apologize. So, yeah. So, and what else? What else have we got? Uh, H. H is for... Oh, okay. Mind-blowing? <laughs> um, H was... That was pretty short, too. That was but, pretty short. I mean, it's, I, I it's, direct, say, it's directed, directed by, by Bill Plipton. Yeah, so and, obviously you know it's animated if you yeah. know that person's... If you know yeah, that. Especially his, his animation style, which is very sketchy, kind of... Uh, Mm -hmm. A grotesque kind of human. It's not grotesque and, and like horror, but just mm -hmm. a, grotesque because he does the features like big pompous noses and, and things. So it's, it's like. It's still fucking weird though. It is weird. Uh, ha have you ever seen Bill Plimpton's The Simpsons? Yes. Yes. So yeah, that's pretty it, damn weird. So if you, if you don't know who Bill Plimpton is, maybe you saw his openings for The Simpsons him. that he's done. Like he's done three openings. So yeah. just that will prepare you for uh, Bill Plimpton's uh, work here. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that he even did one of these. I was like, really? I, I He doesn't come across as a. As a horror guy, you know. So, right. but interesting. What do we got? So uh, I, H I, I is for that. That was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. I mean, it's a little gory. Yeah, that was. Uh, you you miss. You thought it was a different letter. You know, you were like, I really you thought, thought it's. It's one of those things where we, you think the obvious, and it was like, oh, I has to be for this. Yeah. And then, and then it kind of is, but it's not really what the letter is. Mm -hmm. And that's what this anthology series does a lot. Sometimes. It keeps you guessing. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes we all have fun trying to figure out the letter, and then we're kind of on the right track. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, you're on the right track, but that's not really what the letter is. Exactly. So, yeah. Okay, so definitely. I, I is a good one to watch. Yeah, eyes, eyes, another interesting one. J. 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 Um, okay, you can. Okay. Now. <laughs> We actually called Jay. We were like, but as a jokey manner, we were like, Jay is for this. Exactly. It turned no, out to be no, right. but I'm, 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 I'm like kind of lost for words here, only because it, it has to. It kind of touches home base for a lot of people. You can be very offended by it. Yeah, Jay be could very, be very controversial. At the end of the yeah, day. but you know what? We enjoyed it. Right. I think uh, what what happens to these specific people, they fucking deserved it. Right. And, uh, you know. So the word the word here is that uh, it may be viewed, Jay may be viewed a little bit sacrilegious. Mmm, I like sacrilegious. You mean sacrilegious? Yeah. Because sacrilegious sounds really good. <laughs> it sounds like a really nice It, it may be sacrilegious at, to some, you know. I, I don't. The I, red I, states? I, yeah, the red states. The red states. And... But uh, I, I, it's one of those things you got to sit back see it it has a good moral to it well if you are not a republican yeah. or a southerner <laughs> but um that was j l l l l is okay uh, that was the one the african one oh okay okay yeah, yeah. it's like uh, i give them a, a for effort a know? for effort they did i give them props i mean uh definitely uh I think it was African. Like I think yeah, it was, yeah, it was like a South African director. The uh, the the creature that's in the movie. I mean, of course, we can't say exactly what the creature is. It could, right. be, it, it could be, I don't know. Yeah. But the point is, uh, the creature looked a lot more terrifying than the Leprechaun Origin creature. That is true. I give that one more props. That I could actually see this one. Um, 
you know, the special effects may be a little like low, but I, it has good intentions. I a see for effort. effort. Cool. Yeah, it's my F A for effort. Uh, uh let's go. see. Uh, K K K K. That was the one. Oh, the one that leaves that one's going to leave your head scratching like it did for yeah, us that was, that was the one at the hotel and, the yeah, thing. and we're like yeah. we're like it's, what? it's shot nice it looks it's visually it's visually nice K would be the one that you may have to rewatch like a, a second or seven third time. seven times <laughs> you might need to watch it, it seven times interesting but it's it's one of those like head scratchers yeah um M okay M is actually the uh, a contest winner because every so far it's kind of a tradition Every, uh, so far, this is the second ABC's Death movie. The first one, uh, the, um, what's it called? The, com the production company gave out a letter, a specific letter, like T. They gave out T right. to uh, the fans to submit um, your horror film. doesn't matter if it be animation or live action, whatever. Whatever it is. And I and believe the first one was T for Toilet. T right? for Toilet won, right. uh, won that contest. Now, this one... Um, it was the letter M that got that was the uh, that you could submit for the letter M. We won't say exactly what it is, but I, it's it I, has it, a funny kind of, to me. I found it funny. I loved I, it. I, I um, called it at the you, end you like actually, a joke. You <laughs> definitely called it, but um, yeah, it's actually it's funny. It's, it's fun. very current eventy. Yes, very current eventy. <laughs> Rip from the headlines. Yes, and actually, it's that's probably one of my personal favorites. Right. Yeah. Uh, so definitely check out M. Uh, what else do we got? N. N. That was the one with the Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That uh, doesn't give anything away what the letter is. Yeah. But uh, that one's okay. That one's okay. It, that one's like... It, 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 it ended pretty quick. But, I mean, it did, it did its job. I, I feel like it's a little confused on what it's trying to do. It's a little... Um, it's not one of my favorites, I can tell you uh, right now. No. Yeah. It takes place in New York, but, I mean, that's... It's all good. It's a little uh, jumbled, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, I love, though. Oh, it's oh good. I love the concept of Bo because I thought it was an interesting concept with the because you don't see that in like in stories. Usually, you see the story prior to. Uh, all I would say with O is because it doesn't give anything away to the letter. It, mm -hmm. it involves zombies, but it's a very interesting take on the zombie genre. Yeah, it was actually not that predictable. Yeah, where I would say like. I, as a joke, I would say if this is the end of like last episode of Walking Dead, <laughs> this would be hilarious to me. If this it, it turns out like they use this concept for the finale, <laughs> you know, it would be great. So um, uh, O O was the Japanese director, and it, it's only uh, the absurdity of That's the Japanese. Only, <laughs> only a Japanese, only the Japanese could do such a. I I enjoy when the Japanese director come in because then they always have the most interesting absurd off the wall concepts <laughs> i mean uh watch abc watch the first abc's of death it's on netflix go check it out right and uh, the, the japanese one specifically fucked up right so fucked up uh p p was uh, we felt was kind of cheating on the letter yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was the one that we're like it, it's it's weird it it's, is. It's weird. It's kind of corny. Mm -hmm. um, it's cheating on the letter, in my opinion. It it, kinda, it wasn't predictable. That's what. Yeah, that's it does, one thing. It's that if I had to give it props, yeah, if you don't know what you're seeing. <laughs> but de but definitely cheats on the letter itself. Yeah. Like, so. what, what what's up with the prosthetic noses? Like they never. I thought they were gonna explain something. With no, they're trying to go for old like kind of Dick Tracy. -ish, Dick Tracy. Not Dick Tracy. -ish, that's what they were but, trying to do. I don't know, but the point. Uh, it was okay, but it was unpredictable. But it. Mm, it was. It, it they like, can't all be winners here. Exactly. Um, I think this. Uh, okay, just to break it off for a second. This second one, I think it has a little more hit and miss than it did the uh, the first one. Right. I think. I think there's a lot more successful ones on the first one than this. Right. But I I honestly think that you this was still a purchase because yeah. you like to I would I personally like having these anthology ones and maybe keep buying them and then you can oh hell you yeah can marathon them with friends and then just have a blast trying to figure out oh it. yeah and at the end if you marathon them all back to back one two three what mm -hmm. how many anthologies they end up making with these. They'll always keep you interested in guessing. It's like having a collection of episodes of Tales from the Crypt. You oh, know? yeah. Not every episode's good, but when you have the box set, it makes you like, oh, okay. I didn't like this episode so much, but I love the series as a whole. Oh, of course. So, uh, Q. Q. Q was okay. <laughs> Q was okay. That's why we never do those in real life. Yeah, that's <laughs> why you never go to Scientology. Yep. Uh, R. 
R. R. Okay. R. R. R was shot nice. It yeah. was a very beautiful, very movie. visually like pleasing. It was shot in black and white. Mm-hmm. Uh, a very interesting way they used uh, the gritty black and white properly lit. Uh, we kind of guessed. We were kind of guessing what it was, and yeah. it ultimately was something like that. But um, I think I took it one step further, trying to analyze the ending to it. Mm-hmm. And I think I think the ending I came up with it because it gives you just enough information to be satisfied, yeah. but not enough to fully fill in the blank. But if you if I, I feel like I filled in the, the blank properly, so I can get a full story, and yeah. I'm like, I think this is the missing piece of the puzzle. Right. And I, I think that's what happens. Okay. Okay, uh, S. S, I actually like this. It was kind of, It had a twist at the I, end. I know it sounds weird. But, okay, when you watch it and I say I liked it, don't think I'm sick. Because <laughs> I, I liked it for the, the twist, definitely. Yeah. And I liked it because it was different and it wasn't holding back. The, because the, also, the use of its... Uh, Oh yeah, and uh, style, and also like just the end, just uh the little that little bit when you're like, don't tell me they're gonna fucking do that. They fucking do it, yeah. and uh, yeah, I, I like I liked how they execute that that bit. <laughs> Worthy of a good M Night Shyamalan like twist, yes. the good one, not the bad one. Yeah, uh, the, talk, we're talking about we're the, talking about the first two movies. We're talking about not, not the fight, not, not, not the Lady uh, in the, the Water. Fight. Uh, T. Remember T? I actually really like T. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to go back and look at the director's work. For T? So, the Soska Twins. That's They've so done uh, American Mary. Uh, they're soon to be uh, released See No Evil 2. Oh. And they did that. And, um, but yeah, yeah they're... That explains why this this is the way it is. It's kind of like a, kind of like a damn you misogynistic man who yeah. may, like, enjoy this thing. But I think... Okay, um... So, Without it being hate-filled. No, no, I know, but what I'm saying is, um... As of now, those are the only female directors in the first one or second one. Those are the only female direct horror directors that they've actually picked out. I think there should be more female horror directors yeah. out there. So, Draft House, we, again, we love your work. We love your company. We love your pictures. We love your theaters. Lo- thank God you're, you're going to be bringing one to L.A., Pretty soon, uh, next year, but um, uh, when you do AB- when you do the ABC of the Death Three, which actually, um, well, I guess not really a spoiler, but it says at the end. It says at the end, uh, 2016. Um, throw in like a few more female directors because I mean, you know, that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, I-, I like to see how they um, how they do how they. Yeah, do I know horror. tons of females that actually love horror films. Same, yeah. all same here. Yeah, so it's like. Kind of dating one. So. Yeah, so you uh, can't say like, "Oh, women don't like horror." It's like they love horror. Sorry, not kind of dating one. I am dating one. Yeah, kind of. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, not anymore after she sees this. <laughs> uh, you. you, you. I called you. I was like, I think that's what you is. I so. liked you. I again, it was a very short, uh, very short film, but I, I liked what they did. I liked the execution. I liked the uh, I liked the way everything was uh, done, and uh, that's. It's not necessarily the strongest one, but I think it's a little up there toward the mediums. Right. So, what else? V? V, v was really fucked up. It's disturbingly, it could happen in real life, so that's why V, v could be slightly disturbing. Yeah. Choose what you do with your life and exactly. where you go. Uh, w. W was... I enjoyed. I enjoyed it a lot. Especially because... since I had a brother who enjoyed... Um, who grew up in the 80s and, and there was a certain cartoon that he enjoyed very much of mm-hmm. and so much to the point I wanted him to see that W most of all and say ha ha there's the raping of your childhood right there so. <laughs> um, I, I, li- I liked it because it definitely is a throwback to um, the 80s yep. like 80s commercial toy commercials right but again that that could be anything so who knows so, uh, anyway so our final three we got uh, X, X I you called said, it I definitely call it, and I, I, again, I like, this was very sick, so don't, don't, don't judge me when I say I dug it, I dug it, because the way they execute the last bit. Well, there's only so many letters to start with X, but. I know, but the way they execute that, uh, that bit, I liked it a lot. I mean, Very disturbing. Yeah, don't, don't consider me sick. Uh, anyways, why? Oh, why? Once again, another Japanese one. (laughs) And I, <laughs> like I, said, I enjoyed the fuck out of that one. I, I think that's probably one of the strongest ones. One, I think it's strong. one of the most 
visually interesting ones with mm-hmm. carrots and guitars and, and a big cock and a big cock you know like the things the, it's japanese so it's absurd it's weird but you gotta let it go it, it's this this is this is the bread and butter of this this is what makes it interesting <laughs> To the point where, if I have any complaint, is I wish there was one more Japanese directed one, one more like somewhere in the middle or the beginning. Like, yeah. Because I felt like there's only two in this one. Yeah. And I think the last one had three, maybe. The like, the last one had like three. three yeah. So four. maybe that's why I was like, I'm missing that last one. And the final one, the final one is Z, the longest. One. That was the longest one, but I liked it. I I, I have been the, one of the most disturbing gruesome, gory ones of them all. Yeah. It end with a bang, right? It definitely ended with a bang. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, there's like a handful that are really strong. A few of them are very weak. Right. But, I mean, the, that, the, but the strong ones overpower the weak ones. Right. So, all in all, ABC's Death 2 for me, 4 out of 5. Yeah. I four. think I agree there, too. 4 out of 5. Alright. Um, if anything, uh, I will say, uh, make sure you watch it all the way to the end of the credits because there's, oh, yeah. there's a nice there's a nice little, uh, a Easter, little egg Easter egg there, there for uh for horror fans yeah that yeah. you'll get it was very funny <laughs> but um but that's it so four to five for both of us again thank you so much Draft House Films and Magnet Pictures for letting us uh, review this film uh tune in next uh, next week hopefully we're gonna be reviewing Elijah Wood and Sasha Gr- I'm sorry we're gonna be reviewing Open Windows starring Sasha Gray and yeah, Elijah exactly. Wood. But until then, this is Johnny D. Carlos Brajas. Wow, you actually said it really fast this time. See ya.